All right, our last video is pulmonary oscillations. Yep. Um, if you can see, I've kind of we've marked uh, these spots on Liz mm -hmm. on her anterior and posterior side. Sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. I think yeah. it's. Yeah, you can see them. Um, same steps as it was before. Um, there's only one side on her stethoscope, so we don't have to turn it or anything like that. Also, don't really have to warm it up. Already pretty warm. Um, and since we already chose the locations we're going to be doing, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go um, right side, left side, back and forth, and I'm going to listen to one full breath through um, at each like location. All right, I'm going to have you sit straight up. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And then take a deep breath. I did seven points there. You only have to do six, but I'm overachieving. Um, and uh, I also forgot to mention, I would ask my patient not to hyperventilate while they were breathing. Just take very uh, long, slow, deep breaths, which she did. Um, and I heard no abnormal breathing. Um, you do it by yeah. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna do the left side. Crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do it now. <laughs> I was gonna say, you could just probably so I completely know, forgot. I'm gonna stand up and do it here. Go ahead. Move to if you want. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna do uh, the posterior pulmonary oscillation on my patient. Um, I also forgot to mention, but um, I'm looking for normal sounds. Um, any like cracking, wheezing, or wrong eye um, is abnormal, and I would probably assume that something is wrong. Anterior side though, there was none of that. So professional, I'm so sorry. All right, and then I'm also asking my patient to cross her arms and kind of hunch over, moving her shoulder blades out of the way so I can just listen better. Right. And then I'm just gonna mm -hmm. take a deep breath. Okay. Again. Again. Okay. And I'm good. There's not part more points marked here. I'm just gonna go under your bra. Go ahead. I did it on that side. I'm going to go to the other side now to do it bilaterally. But on this side, there were uh, no abnormal sounds. Go ahead.
and then there were all normal sounds, um, nothing abnormal. Hello, <laughs> we are now going to do the pulmonary auscultation on my patient, Ms. Riley, and I'm going to do the same thing. We didn't mark any of the points on her since we already have marked them on me. Um, this is one video or one team, but um, I'm still going to listen in the same places. I'm going to listen bilaterally, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. All right, Miss Riley, so I'm going to ask that you just take a deep breath. Can you just slip that thing? Okay. Okay. Alrighty. And go ahead. Alrighty. And I'm going to come mid axillary line and go ahead. Awesome. And I'm going to listen. And the next slide, go ahead. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I just heard normal breath sounds, no cracks, weasels, bronchles, anything of the sorts. So um, now, if you don't mind turning around, I'm gonna do the same thing posteriorly, and I'm gonna ask her to, yep, she's already doing it. Sorry. <laughs> protracting her shoulders. Um, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm listening in between. I'm not gonna press too, too hard because I don't know if you could see, but Riley just like cupping, so I don't wanna hurt her. <laughs> um, but It's that rower in me. <laughs> but I'm gonna make sure to listen between the scapula and the, sorry, and the spine and listen in between the vertebrae. So if you want to go ahead. So same thing, normal in and out breath sounds, and Riley sounds all good. <laughs> 